The young woman on these banners stumbled unknowingly into Ireland's abortion grey area, and these people believe she paid for it with her life. Thousands marched in Dublin to express their sadness at the death of Savita Halapanova and to demand legislation on exactly when a doctor is allowed to abort a fetus. She was a woman who needed our help. She needed the help of a medical team who understood what the guidelines were, that they could fulfil the Hippocratic Oath to do no harm. And they had no clarity. And they need that clarity so that they can save a life. The miscarrying 31-year-old was denied a termination in an Irish hospital and later died in agony of blood poisoning. The case has galvanised those in Ireland who say when it comes to deciding between the life of a mother and the life of a foetus, the country's laws are broken. Ireland's strong Catholic tradition means it constitutionally prohibits abortions, but in 1992 the Supreme Court decreed that if a mother's life was being endangered by carrying the baby, termination is permitted. That ruling, though, has never made it into law. Abortion is a constitutional right, as determined by the Supreme Court 20 years ago under the X case. But there's no legal underpinning of that. There's no legislation to vindicate that right. Uh, only in certain circumstances, only when the life of the mother is at risk. And that was the determination made 20 years ago. But without legislation, it's a total grey area. And those in the medical fields are unsure as to, as, as to what to do. And that's the problem. But for those on the other side of the debates, Ireland already has all the abortion legislation it needs. The clinical guidelines for medical doctors state that they can uh, treat a woman when her life is at risk. And if that means inducing um, the pregnancy, then that is able to happen here already. But the momentum at the moment is with the pro-abortion rights campaigners. Ireland's ruling politicians are under immense pressure to do what six successive governments have avoided doing, finally legislating on the Supreme Court's ruling. Just these campaigners urging change either. The European Court of Human Rights has given Ireland until the end of the month to present its proposals for new laws. The death of one 31-year-old woman may well sweep away two decades of deadlock.